Hey guys, Chip here, and I've got some exciting news for you today. We have a brand new version of KidOps, and it's got some great new workflow features. Let me first point out that we're now working on 4.0.1. 4.0 was a huge upgrade for Blender, and it broke a lot of things. And we spent some time and got all those things fixed, or at least we think we did. Let us know if there's any issues. But we've got uh, a brand new version here, and it's got this incredible brand new very cool feature. And let's talk about that for a second. Let's go into preferences and go into the add-ons and choose kit ops. And then look over here. We have general file pass. And we added this new thing called search. And it is really interesting the way it works. And I'm going to show it to you here in a second. But notice that over here we have filters, right? I can sci-fi box. I can choose filters that have sci-fi box in them. I've got my decals. These I set up manually, right? I set these up in here in the file pass, right? I've got all my different sets right here, and I can use this to set up different master folders. And look at all these master folders. I have a ton of them. And as you can tell, some of them I don't always turn on, right? So I can turn them on and off, not by deleting them, by, by, by creating a set. So if I say this one right here, this side box set, you can see these are turned off. If I want to go and look at just only my materials, these are all turned off. So I can filter these pretty quickly. And when I go over here into materials, you'll see that these are now filtered and I just basically have, have chosen my materials. But what search does and what's really cool about it is that even if I have master folders turned off, I can still search through them, right? Let's take a look at something. For instance, let's say displays. So I want to look for display. If I want to look for display, this is going to give me a list of all of the displays, right? So I can basically say load insert and I'm going to load that even though it wasn't currently installed, right? So I can go and look and say, let's let's look at some of these. Let's load inserts. So these are different. These are different display inserts I have in one of my K packs. I guess this was in the sci-fi box master folder. I think I uploaded that to uh, Patreon. And there's just a lot of different displays here. So if we can go, these are decals. Here's a hero display. I think I've got a holographic display in here somewhere. Let's see right here. This is it. So you can see that once we've done that, we're loading all of our K pack folders directly into KidOps. So why is this a, a game changer for me? Let me explain why that is. So let's just go in here and let's go and say, we're going to go to the Cutters Medium. This KidOps Pro comes with a lot of different things like all these KO materials, KidOps, emissive material, plastic paint, special materials, and all these new, these cutters like complex and medium. I'm going to grab this medium one, for instance, and let's just add the insert to the top of this. So let's just go, and I'm going to hit the end button, and that means I won't snap to anything. I'll hit the alt button, I'll re rotate around. So maybe I'll move it, I don't know, let's see. Maybe something like, actually, let's do it this way. Let's roll, rotate it this way. I'm holding the alt key down when I rotate, so let's move it like this, maybe just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to turn off my face orientation so we can see what's going on, and let's go into this solid mode, and you can see what we have here. And as you recall, we can also mirror this along the X direction. So there we have that. And if I want to mirror it on the Z, this one is actually this, the face, the origin of this object is the middle. So I want to put the origin of the object to the geometry of this object. And then I can take this and I can mirror this around the Z also. Okay. And then if I want, I can use KidOps toggle VP display, control, shift, alt, Z, and it'll just basically toggle these into bounding boxes. So there. And that's what we have. Now, if I, as I look at this, I want to be in group mode because I want to select everything at once. And maybe I move this over back the other direction, like something like this. Yeah, that might be a, a little more interesting. Let's do that. Okay. And then let's go grab another one. Let's say we grab something like this and click, uh, click on this box again. And we're going to add the insert here to the face and I'll hit F. It's going to snap right to the face. And let's go ahead and hit Alt and rotate it around. And then let's just scroll the mouse wheel. And it's just going to grow it a little bit, right? So it grows it. So something like that. Let's just keep going. So it goes all the way out. There we go. Something like that right there. Maybe. And then pull it out. There we go. So that's like a little monitor display or something like that. And then we'll go into my Design Magic series. And let's just grab this guy. And we're going to add the insert here. And scroll it down. And hit V for vertex. It's going to snap to the middle of the vertex right there. And let's just expand that out a little bit. So you're starting to get the idea. This is what we're doing. Let's just move this in or out. 
sorry. Yeah, let's move it out just about a little bit less than that. And this down and move it, let's put it to the center. So just kind of scale it up. So we're, so we're using dynamic booleans here. Okay, so now that we've done that, I want to go ahead and add some stuff to this. First thing, let's just go ahead and let's add a a bevel to this top edge. This is so I'm gonna add this insert here, come over here and I'll select this and add the insert. I don't want to place this on selected inserts, by the way. I want to keep that off. And then I'll add the insert here and I'm gonna again rotate it around and then move it, hit the end button. And I can just move it somewhere. Basically, I just need to get it close to where I want. Something like this. Let's scroll it down. There we go. And then once I've done that, all I need to do is just move this one, this out just a little bit until we pinch that off. And you can see down the bottom. Here we go. And then I can just move this all the way out. So I'm actually using Booleans to create a bevel here. And if I want to increase if I want to, let's just mirror that on the X we get on the other side. But if I want to increase those bevels, I can always go in here and say, we have eight, let's make it 12. So we can get a little increase on that. And I can also just, maybe I move this back a little bit so we don't get this little weird area here. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Now maybe I need to move this back a little bit. I think that's something like, yeah. That's better. Now I'm giving something that looks a little better out here. Anyway, we, we get that. So now I want to put a display in here. So let's talk about that. Let's just first, let's take this object real quick and scale it up just a tiny bit. And let's hit control A, scale. That'll get those radiuses correct. And as you can see, those radiuses uh, maybe have eight. Let's go those 12 also. And move it up just a little more. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll move it down. So I'm going to go into KitOps now. And we're going to add some switches to this. So I'll go to search. Maybe we'll, yeah, let's go ahead and search for the display. This is, let's do the display first. So I'm going to go over here, grow this out a little bit. Let's go down to these decals and say, let's load that insert. Here's that one. Let's just take this very first one and I'm going to click on here and say, add insert, but I want to put it right in the middle of this. So what do I do? I go over here and I've got my modifier tools here. You can see it's turned on and it puts these four buttons up here. So with that done, I can just say viewport viz, and now we're back to this cube, and I can say add this insert, and I can snap to the face of that cube if I want to. Right there, say F for face. Maybe grow it up a little bit. Let's look at it, hit the EV mode so we can see what we got going. There we go. So now you can see that's where that goes. Let's do this viewport viz. Let's select my object. Now, one of the things I want to be able to do is I want to be able to put a black object behind there, a plane. So let's go ahead and there's a couple ways to do that. I could just say shift a mesh plane and let's roll it up and rotate it around the X 90 and let's pull it forward like this, scale it down and let's go ahead and give it a material, something like, oh, for now we'll just see this red and of that material. So now we have that. And then I can take this guy and move him back until he intersects enough. And he's gonna be right there. So now we have that. Now let's go back to that plane that we just added. And and let's look at that material real quick. And here it is. And I just wanna make that pure black. I need to go to this emission. <laughs> this is the new interface. So I'm a little bit unusual here. So I'll go right here, drag that to black also. So now we have that as black. Let's come out of here. Now we have our object. So let's go into here now and let's look at this and say, okay, that is good, but maybe I don't want that. So let's go back over into our preferences and in KitOps, we'll go to search and I'm going to scroll down and let's look at some of these other decals. Let's just go into here and let's look at what else we have. And so I've got some others that are might be a little bit higher contrast, like this one. So with that selected, I can hit add material and it's going to give me a different one. Ah, uh, maybe not that one. Let's try another one. Here you go, this one. There we go. We're going to like that one. So let's see that the way it is. Next, I want to add some switches to the front of this. And let's go ahead and figure out how to light this with the scene lights here and the scene world there. That way we can see a little better. Go to our world real quick. Let's move this up to one. And I'm going to turn off all the rest of the lights. 
And this is just an HDRI. Uh, comes with, again, on my Patreon, I have this one, which is really good for studio lighting kind of stuff. So let's just rotate this around a little bit. Yeah, something like this. Let's go back into our search. And let's search this time for switch. Search. And I can basically just start to look at some of these different switches and the switch assemblies there. That's something I like. Yeah, I like that. So let's grab this guy and let's put him right here and I'll hit V for vertex. So it'll stick it right there and maybe move him up, move him down like that. And notice we have all the words right and everything. And then let's go ahead and let's grab another one. Let's grab maybe this thing, put this up top. And one of the advantages of kit ops, obviously everything is non-destructive. So let's put that in vertex. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe there. Drag it down. Maybe this needs to go down here. And this one needs to go up here. Now notice, I'm. if you look at this object over here, it's got a lot of other objects in it. Look at all those other objects. We're actually moving all those because we're in group mode. We can move all those and the cutter that's associated with it as we move around. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and scale that down just a little bit there. And then this move it here and we'll scale this up. It's... So you're starting to get the idea. If I want to add like vent details, I might go over here and just type in vent and the search. And then I can go over here and just say load insert. And let's see, I've got these different vents going on in here. Like something like this, maybe grab this, grab it over here. And let's, or let's put it on. Yeah. Add insert. Drag that in here, in, and I'll put that down here somewhere. I have to just move it up right there. And let's try this radius here, and let's mirror that so it's on the bottom also. And yeah, I can look down here, and I can actually let's just go to some other vents. Let's say load this insert. So what's that vent look like? Different, more vents. Let's try this one. Add insert, scale it down there. Mirror it about the X. This one here, mirror about the X. I think you're getting the idea how valuable this new search feature is. And let's do one more thing before I get done. Let's just add a party line. Let's search for that. Let's see. So clear. Let's go party. Search and let's go to here. Yeah, let's take that one. That's in the design magic collection. It's a neat one. Let's grab this, add insert, stick it right here. This one actually has a mirroring feature. so. If I hit the V button, I'm going to snap to the middle there. Okay, let's move this over. Now, it's going real slow. And a lot of times when you've had, let's look at our object here. We've got a lot of booleans, a lot of them are mirrored. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. So what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll say viewport viz and toggle these off. And then maybe just turn on the ones that I want to see, like this one, maybe that one. Those are the ones I'm actually interested in looking at. So. Let's just move this to like up here like this. I'm going to stick it right here or actually I'm going to move it right in the middle there. And then over here in the solidify, let's say 0.02, let's just make it a little wider and let's tab into it. And one, we have our vertices. So let's grab these, let's just move them up into this slot right like that. Okay. And then maybe on our item, let's just grab just these. Since this is mirrored, just grab these. And instead of being bevel weight 0.5, let's do 0.8. And now notice we've got just a little better bevel in that, a little better radius in this corner here, if we can keep adjusting those. But it's part, again, part of the Design Magic Collection that has all these different modifier-based objects that you can use to cut things with and everything else. So let's take that, tap, push this in. It's a cutter, so it's just a cutter. If you look at, actually, Design Magic, they're broken up into unions, cutters, and objects. And then there's other stuff, like little widgets and stuff. Like if I want to add a little widget to this, uh, I can just go in here, grab something like this, maybe, and let's put that maybe right over here on this guy, maybe right over here, something like this, and then mirror it on the X. Then go back to our box, viewport viz, off, on. Okay, finally, let's go ahead and pick up a uh, material. I'll go to preferences, search, let's go, let's look for some plastic, for instance. So here's dimples. This is the free ones. I just... Go here and let's take that one and we'll go here and let's add that material to the object. And it's a little rough as we can see. So let's go into our object and scale it maybe 200. There, maybe there's our 
rough plastic. We want to take this guy, we're going to mirror him also. And let's just take a look what we have. Let's take our object here. And we're going to basically in here, we will go into the properties and visibility. We want to make that a shadow catcher and we have to be in cycles to get that to work. And then let's go back into our world object. And so this world, again, this is part of the Patreon I have, but you can probably figure, figure out, I'll show you how this works. We've got a light pass. You've got, this is the, here is our HDRI and we're using a mix shader to mix it in a background. So the background I'm going to set to one and I'm going to make it maybe something like a little lighter. And so if we go back and look at this, this is going to actually create a lightness for that. And then the material that this object had on it before, which is that concrete is giving us that kind of a reflective look because it's taken on the reflection parts of that material right now if i make that material just plain white or something like that i wouldn't see that but so let's go back in here and let's just bump this up a little bit more maybe and now let's go in and take this and when i originally do my lighting on hdris i don't use cycles i use ev so let's just go ahead and rotate that a little bit and uh, as you can see it's rotating around and i think what I like to do is I like to light it from the side so that the front is a little bit more in shadow. Let's take, take a look and see what that looks like. So yeah, you can see the front's a little more in shadow. Might want to give this a little bit more like a 1.25, a little, little higher strength there. And let's turn off all of our lights. We'd have all the lights turned off. If I turn them back on, I can mess with that a little bit as well. But for now, I think I just, yeah, maybe I'll leave this on like that and just take this empty, rotate this around. So I can get some other lighting effects there. And we have our object. So I probably will keep detailing it. You'll see this uh, image of this file that I finished, but this is a great way to start building objects, exploring styles, building a shape language for yourself, all of that. And it works, works really well, but the key thing here. And hopefully the takeaway for you is the fact that this new search feature really helps, especially when you have lots of K-Packs. And as if you go onto Blender Market, there are tons of K-Packs out there. And so people are downloading them, but the problem is they can't find what they want. And it's like the same thing with Asset Manager and Blender. You have all this stuff, but you don't know where it is. Whereas this new search feature allows us to find that stuff very quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this. Get a copy. Of, if you've already owned KidOps Pro, grab a copy of it. If not, I, th I think it's on sale because it's Black Friday. So maybe you can still pick it up at the Black Friday sale. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you online. Bye.